yo 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 what's up guys i got y'all with some new and never seen before sauce bro word to everything you guys are in for a treat you know you've probably seen this effect in some people's edits but never seen an exact tutorial on how to execute the effect so that's what i'm gonna show you in this video i do want to give a big shout out to my man spooky he did put me on told me his ways on how he found the effect and he spilled the sauce to me to show you guys on how to execute it so if you can go show him some love if you could you know he's an amazing editor his links will be down below let's get right into this tutorial also hold on make sure you guys like and subscribe though we're on that 30k grind come on now lock in okay now we're in our composition here i do have some clips laid out this is from a laser didn't video i just downloaded this from his channel so here we have a couple clips now the clip i'm gonna do it on is the first two clips right here i do want to say make sure your clip has some good camera movement because the effect would look 10 times better with more of a flow rather than like still tripod type camera movement before we even start everything make sure you guys go in that description and download eb synth it is a free plugin free software whatever you want to call it this is how we're going to execute this effect you must download that so go download that and then come back to to this now what we're gonna do is go to our files we want to go to our files we want to make a new folder called eb synth and then inside that folder we're gonna make three new folders and now what we're gonna do is rename them the first folder will be called keys the second folder will be called output and the last folder will be called video now inside of these folders you want to make another folder and then title this keyframe go back to the output make a new folder export and then go into video and then new folder second clip now these are my preferences on what i want to name them to but you'll understand when we go forward with this tutorial but this is mandatory three folders inside each folder you have another folder in there must do that now as we're here we want to do is before the next clip starts we want to make sure this right here is enclosed into only one keyframe to do that hit b and n on our keyboard it'll only be one frame you see needs more than two frames as you can tell it's only one frame next what you want to do is go into your file export render queue you can leave this as best settings we're going to change this format to jpeg sequence leave everything else default hit ok and now into the output what we're going to do is go into the eb synth the keys and then keyframe now what we want to do is uncheck save in subfolder and we're going to leave this as it is and hit save and now render we rendered that keyframe now what we're going to do is as you see we can check it here the keyframes there but it does say clip 00021 we don't want that basically that is a 21st keyframe as you see here it counts that's the 21st keyframe we have to change that to 00000 it has to be all zeros it will make sense as we move forward with the tutorial i'll explain more about that now what we're going to do is render the next clip the full clip not just one keyframe so as you see here we have this full second clip where it's going to transition now same process file export render queue just leave best settings change format to jpeg sequence go here we're gonna go back to eb synth we're gonna go to video second clip and then make sure you uncheck save and subfolder like that save and render now it rendered all the keyframes in jpeg sequences on the second clip as we go into our folder we're gonna see this here video and we have every keyframe just like that perfect one thing i want to point out every first keyframe has to align so for example if this keyframe says zero, then this has to say zero as well. One, two, three, four, five. Now this has 22 and stuff. So in order to bypass that, we're going to pre-comp the second clip, pre-comp, move all attributes into new composition. Now, once you made that pre-comp, what you want to do is go into the pre-comp, right click the pre-comp, composition settings, and change this from 22 to zero, zero. Hit OK. So now it will start from zero and end at 17, meaning there's 17 keyframes. So export, go here, change it to JPEG sequence. And yeah, save, render and now we have zero perfect just like that now that we have everything rendered now what we're gonna do is open eb synth okay so after you have eb synth open you'll see it right here eb synth beta what you want to do is for the keyframes videos and output you want to double click into those folders and for the keyframe drag it into the keyframe section go back into your video section once you click into the video click and drag that second folder in just like that and for the output do the same for the export folder just like that as you'll see it will calculate the keyframes it'll stop at 16. now all we got to do next is hit synth and it'll load and it's done and now all you got to do that it's done exporting as you see all the keyframes are here 
click and drag this folder into your After Effects. So once you have that exported into your After Effects, you'll see that the frame rate is 30 and our composition is 23.976. All you gotta do is right click, hit interpret footage, main, change this from 30 to 23.976, hit OK and click and drag onto your clip. Now you're gonna obviously have it on the second clip, not you know not like this so like that and this is what it look like so obviously here it doesn't properly fade out within these settings you guys can look through the advanced to like you know go more in depth maybe it can fade or obviously if you have a longer clip you can do more but usually what i would do is just go a couple keyframes ahead hit the clock on your opacity go keyframes more and just fade it so you get that cool little morph effect but you know your subject so comes still looks cool in my opinion obviously you can tweak it or that looks way cleaner if you actually do put it one keyframe before usually what you can do a little white solid just like this it's up to you though obviously you have full customization personal preference at the end of the day but yeah that's how you get this cool little eb synth data mosh effect if you guys did enjoy this video please show some support down below by leaving a like subscribe if you're new and drop a comment on more effect ideas you want me to teach you guys and yeah shout out to spooky and i'll see you on the next video peace out